Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Mark Esselman and D. Gukesh. This absolutely amazing chess game was played in Keynes in 2017. Esselman had white pieces and he started with e4. Gukesh played c5, the Sicilian defense. d4, c takes on d4, c3, going for the Smith Mora gambit. D takes on c3, knight takes on c3, e6, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4, a6, castling, f and g to e7, pinning the knight, f6, bishop to e3, knight to g6, bishop to b3, b5, white to move. The standard move in the Smith Mora Gambit pattern is queen to e2 and then rook from f to d1. But in this position, Esselman played this amazing knight to d5 move. What a move! Sacrificing the knight to open the e file. Pawn takes knight, e takes on d5. Knight on c to e5, d6. Very annoying move for black. Bishop to b7, knight takes on e5, f takes on e5, and now f4. Again, intending to open the e file. Pawn takes pawn on f4. Wait to move. How would you continue now? Perhaps. Some players would capture the pawn on f4, but this is not the best move. Mark Esselman played this amazing move. Rook to e1. Absolutely amazing. But let's take it back. What's wrong with taking that pawn? Then black would play queen to b6, check. And after king to h1, knight takes on f4, rook takes knight, bishop to d6, and black is okay back to our game so sman played rook to e1 sacrificing the second piece pawn takes bishop rook takes pawn check and black must block with the bishop now queen to d4 queen to b8 d takes on e7 queen to a7 offering to trade queens Another interesting position. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? In this position, Esselman played another amazing move. Are you ready to see the move? The move is bishop to f7 check, sacrificing the bishop. The third piece, king takes bishop or tells, and now, not rook from a to f1, because the black king would hide on e8 square. Pawn to e8, queen check was played, forcing black to take the queen, and the king can't go back to the e-file anymore. Now rook to f1, check. King to g8, why to move? What would you do now? Esselman played rook takes rook check, forcing black to take with the rook, and the black queen then has no defender. Queen takes queen, attacking the bishop, bishop to c6, queen takes on a6, h6 just in case, and now queen to a5, important move, because after rook to e2, White can play rook to f2 and black can't play rook to e1 check. Rook to e6, queen to c3, rook to e4, queen to d2, knight to e5, rook to e2 offering to trade rooks, knight to c4 attacking the queen, queen to d1, rook to f4, rook to e8 check, king to f7, queen to h5 check, g6. White to move, white play the move and black resigned and the move is queen to e2, threatening checkmate, 
on e7. Black resigned if rook to e4, then rook takes rook. And after bishop takes rook, queen takes bishop. And I guess we can stop here. What an incredible Smith Mora Gambit game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.